Hello everyone, this is Marcy from Prints and Paints by Marcy. Uh, today this will be a demonstration on this wonderful ruler that I have designed. Um, this is specifically for uh, creating uh, quarter inch circles throughout your uh, template to help keep your dots in line. Uh, this is specifically for using this um, with mandala uh, dotting tools. So um, this is the ruler. It is available on my Etsy. I will put the link in the description for you. Um, it is a 12 inch plastic acrylic ruler. And what it is, I will take it out of the package, is that I've designed a way of doing a 3 16th of a hole and I do it on every quarter of an inch marking so I will have it at uh, the one the quarter the half the three quarters and then back to one again okay it starts at zero what you're gonna also receive is a wooden tack. So this could be if you're using a cardboard or a thin plywood or even maybe a vinyl record of some something of that nature. And you can use this, insert it into your zero. Find the center of your circle you are using. If you don't know how to do that, I'm sure there are very many tutorials on how to find the center of your circle. Um, I like to cut out I and prefer to use MDF hardboard. So this is the MDF hardboard that looks like when I get it. I can get this sheet at Lowe's or Home Depot for about $11 and it's a like four feet wide long or in length uh, sheet. Uh, you just have to be a little crafty with using a jigsaw. <laughs> But it's worth the money. It saves you time. So I already prepped this with a black matte acrylic paint and I have drilled a hole in the center using a 3 16 drill bit. If you do not have that, that is why I'm also including a tack so that if you don't have your hands on that you can do that. However, in the packaging behind my logo label you will also find let's open this up you will also find a small one inch clear acrylic dowel this a dowel is also in the size of 3 16 okay so it'll fit into your hole like so okay and then all you're going to do is at the zero mark you're going to slip your ruler right on like so. Just like that. Now, I'm just using a pencil for this demonstration. Um, usually I do use a pencil. It's a lot of erasing, so if you feel like that's not ideal, whatever method works for you is fine. Um, you can also pick up at any store um, washable pencils, or some I've heard some people use watercolor pencils as well. You just want to be able to see it. So for this demonstration, I'll just use a number two pencil. You're going to, this should be intact and in place if you use a 3 16 bit and this will hold it in place. The tack, if you use it, you may have to hold the tack. Okay, I'm just warning you now. So, um, and you're going to start at your next. So you're going to start at the quarter inch mark up from zero. Okay. And you're just basically going to the first two that you do, you're probably going to have to hold the pencil in place while you pivot the ruler around. Move to the next one and move ourselves around. Next one. Oop. Okay. 
Um, eventually I'm going to have to start sharpening my pencil because as anything, pencils will wear down. Okay. Should get a couple circles in the beginning out of this. And then as you start to taper off, especially if you have a very large mandala, um, you're definitely going to have to sharpen your pencil quite often. Just a, a warning on that one. So see, now I can start really moving my pencil. Um, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, like if you like it's going to pop out, it's okay. It's also not going to move around because you are still stationary, even if this does pop out. You're just going to put it back in and you'll be still at your same dots. It's not like you're going to, you know, be using a stencil and then lose your marking if you move it. Okay? So that's basically it. That's what you do. And we are going to go all the way around until we get to the edge. Uh, this is such a wonderful tool that um, I've come up with and I'm so happy that I have it available for all of you as well. Uh, if you are interested, like I said, please um, check out my Etsy account and I do have these for purchasing. Um, I believe I did them for $18 and uh, the shipping is fairly inexpensive. So that is the uh, tool. So when you're finished, so this is like a product that I was working on with my cone flower. So this was a 12 inch mandala. You can see that the lines went all the way down to the edge. And this is very extremely helpful for when you're doing your dots and you want them to be nice and placed and, and in a same uniform circle. I mean, sometimes if you do it freehand, you notice you won't even realize that you're going off and in and around until you step back and look and say, ah, what did I do? So um, it's wonderful. And then once you finish the circles, you can also use a T-square and then you make your vertical and horizontal lines. And this helps create that pie divot so that, you know, if you're making star shape things, you, you know, okay, this is my line here. I'm going to place a dot here. And, um, it really is extremely helpful. I gotta say. So, uh, that is my demonstration. Um, I hope you, uh, get really good use out of this. Um, I, I swear by it and I think it's just a wonderful product. Uh, so, uh, thank you for watching and, um, Happy dotting.